Hi, welcome to Kin's Quick Cook. Today we'll be making easy corn muffin. And these are our ingredients. We're going to use the super moist yellow cake mix. This one I got on sale for 99 cents. Sometimes they go for 89 cents, depending on the sale. We're going to have milk, one cup of milk instead of water as the directions in the back. We're gonna use exactly the same directions except replacing the water with milk, one cup of milk. We're going to use three eggs, one half cup of cornmeal, okay, yellow cornmeal. We're going to put in one half cup of corn oil and a quarter tablespoon of unsalted butter, which I'm gonna melt, dissolve, and then put in the mix. And, oh, that's my oven. I have it set for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's always good to preheat your oven first. I have six jumbo muffin liners here. And uh, usually this recipe will make eight, which is why I have an extra set here. Okay, because I've made this uh, many times, my family loves it. Let's begin. Put this open. We're gonna pour the yellow kick mix in to our mixer. Next, we're gonna put in our three large eggs. Next, pour in our one cup whole milk, following that we're going to put in our cornmeal, yellow cornmeal, like so. Next, our half cup corn oil. Now we're going to melt our butter in the microwave. After the unsalted butter is microwaved and melted down and in the liquid form we can just add it into our mix. I like to clean as we go. Now I'm just going to use a silicone spatula and just mix it in. That way when I start the mixer, the flour will not come up as much. This way you get it pre-mixed. Mmm, smells good already. Let's put this here. Now that the batter is well mixed for approximately two minutes, it's thickened up. Look at that. That's the consistency we want. <clears throat> now we can put them in our jumbo muffins. Now we're gonna fill each one approximately two thirds because they will rise. Okay, now that the batter mixes in, we clean the sides, making sure there is no batter because it will burn on the pan. And it's gonna be a harder time cleaning up. So you wanna clean as you go. 
Okay, now we're ready for the oven. Let's pop it in. Okay, now we're ready to put it in the preheated oven at 350 degrees in the center rack, right there. And we set the timer for 30 minutes. Okay, I think our muffins are done. My oven is beeping, meaning that the 30 minutes are up. So let me just go ahead, shut it down, and remove the muffins from the stove. Oh yeah, that's the color I want. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, and the two extra ones. So in all, we have eight easy corn muffins. Now we're just gonna let these cool for approximately um, 20 minutes and they should be still nice and warm and ready to eat. Okay, now the corn muffins are plated. Look how nice they look. Okay, now I'm going to be using my butter knife and I'm going to be sneaking one. This one looks good. Look at that beauty. I'm going to take the paper wrap off before I cut it in half. Look at the sides, perfectly brown. I'm gonna cut it in the center. Look at the inside, still nice and warm. What I'm gonna do is that I'm going to cut some unsalted butter. You can use salted butter if you like. I'm gonna put it in the center. And I'm gonna cut another piece cause I don't think one sliver of butter is enough. Oh yeah, and this is my favorite time, eating. Oh, that is really good. Wow, take another bite. It's not too sweet and it has a nice corn flavor. You taste also the cake and it's really good out of this world. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.